When I finished my last uh, client engagement at the UN, I was basically looking for a place where I can collaborate with other people as well as um, be in an environment that's just very productive. So Ellen and I met uh, working on a former app. I was working on the Martha Stewart side. Ellen has uh, a background in branding and, and mobile apps. And so we're a startup of um, eight here at the yard. Came, came to the yard uh, after Third Ward shut down kind of suddenly and was really happy to find you know, a space that's so accommodating and been, been really thrilled with the community um, and the workspace. It's pretty neat to have a team of you know, um, engineers and artists and, and writers all under one roof and with the nature of a startup, for better or worse, we're kind of all hands on deck, heads down, developing something really awesome. And so we're kind of all become a jack of all trades and learn from each other. And I think that's probably the spirit of, you know, a co-working environment. It's really just the two heads is better than one. There's a lot going on here, and there's a lot of people doing some really cool things. So I think it adds a, a great deal of inspiration as I'm trying to truck through as an entrepreneur. Last year, uh, I've been working from home. It's fine to work at home, but at the end of the day, you don't see people, you don't see people working. So this year, I decided to change it. Before I started co-working, I was working for my apartment. So it was kind of a blessing and a curse that you would never fully be at work or never fully be at home. You really have to get out and, and have a place that's totally separate that you can really just focus on work. It seems that the day has lots of more hours than, than before. But it's, it's cool because it gives me a, a routine and that's the thing that keeps me like zen.